Hi everybody, it's Mark at Flicking Feathers again today and uh, today I'm showing you how to tie one of these wiggle tail clousers with uh, an interchangeable wiggle tail snap just adds that extra bit of motion to your fly a bit longer and of course you can add or remove the wiggle tail to suit yourself so remember you can uh, find me on my social media um, or you can uh, flick and feathers the links in the description uh, just above the materials list for this along with a link to patreon if you fancy supporting the channel so starting this out with an SL12 Gamakatsu size 2 or get that secured in the vise now we've got to run on some this is just Flymaster, uh, Flatwax in Ireland Danville's fluorescent chartreuse just run down a nice wee bed there <coughs> obviously adjust the colour to suit now I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to build a couple of little bumps of thread up until just before where I tie in the dumbbell eye so to make the wiggle tail attachment I've got a couple of inches of titanium wire and a fast attach clip here I fold that over and I'm going to take a small 2mm plastic bead thread that over slide that up the wire so I'm left with the loop of wire, fast attach clip and my little bead set this in I want this, the snap to be just behind so the end of the, the loop here you can see is I want that just behind the uh, the back of the hook tie this in so that the wires are sitting parallel along the top of the shank and these wee ridges that I've put in just give you that wee bit extra grip so it won't fall, won't ever pull out just cover that up and then we'll just pull this bead back quite hard until it traps the fast attach clip put a couple of turns under that just to lift it there we go um, and then I'm going to come in with some UV resin this is the solar res hard that I'm using it's very thick the thick hard sorry and I'm just going to fill this up create a wee blob pull it tight so that it's nice and straight and then I'll zap it with the light and then that's fixed right, I mean you don't need to worry about it snapping or anything because it's not under any pressure if you like you can come in with a bit more resin and just encase the bead completely you know just to give you that sort of greater level of toughness but 
as I say, it's pretty hard, it's pretty durable. So, basically, that's the mount done. Um, you know, you just come in when you're fishing, you can just catch the catch the tail in. You can take them out and change them as and when you see fit. Just put that in there now. So we're basically now just got to tie a, a clouser, more or less. So just for a bit of durability, get some super glue over these wraps and then I'll tie over the top. Touch it to take away any excess wet glue. And then, at the usual place, I'll tie in my eyes. And then, make sure they're nice and square. secure right. and you'll find they're less likely to spin actually because of the they're sitting in that flat bed from the wire now what you tie the the rest of the flyways are up to you I'm just going to use a bucktail but you could tie it with synthetic as well um, just suit yourself really so You want the bucktail to be a bit shorter than you maybe normally would. Um, normally I like the overall flight to be about three or four times the length of the hook when I tie a clouser, but this I'm just going to go for like twice the length of the hook to allow the wiggle tail to be clear at the back. Um, it's quite important that you don't You don't have too much material coming here because it will foul up the tail and stop it working. And then there's just no any point in having it. So I'll tie that in. I've measured it up. You can see it's coming just just beyond twice the length of the hook, maybe at the longest. And that's plenty. So I always check it at that stage just to make sure. Then take a few wraps behind the eye and just as normal spiral down spiral back up bring the thread to the front and then we'll invert it and you can see now that that's tied down the wiggle tail junction is still in the fly and then the tail continues at the back But a flash, three or four strands of crystal flash, fold it over, make sure the ends are kind of uneven. Tie it in, fold the ends back, and lock them down. them sort of distributed around the shank and then just for the the wing nice wee bunch of citrus bucktail obviously tie them whatever colour you like you can mix and match the tails um, to suit yourself A black, a black closer with a hot orange tail would be a nice, a nice colour for uh, 
a lot of species black and purple up to you and then just get all that tied off build a neat head finish then the last thing just to add a bit of durability to the whole fly is a bit more uh, UV resin run a bead from the back don't be shy of this, you can put plenty on over the dumbbells not to the nose Plenty, and just take your time. This makes your fly last much, much longer, I and mean, really increases the lifespan. I'll just let it sit for a moment just to let the the resin sort of settle and then hit it with the light again and there you have it that's a wiggle tail clouser this is the medium size uh, Pacariani wiggle tail. I'll put a link to where you can buy them in the description as well. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. If it was, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Take lines, guys. Bye.